Look, I'm not a PKer. I once made a hardcore Iron Man PvP only account that lasted for exactly 20 minutes. Walks and doors. <laughs> But I do like making money. If you watched my recent video on the main channel, you saw that I lost about 280 mil. So I want to make that back. And luckily, we've got DMM Apocalypse tomorrow. I'm going to give you some really good money makers today so you can swap your GP from DMM to old school RuneScape and make that back. If you guys don't know what DMM is, by the way, it's this separate kind of game world where XP goes faster and there's PKing everywhere. It's basically like a league if everywhere you could get PKed. So if you want to join me in getting rich, then check out the blog post and then come back to this or watch another video. I'll probably link one in the description that explains DMM a little better, but let's get into it. I've personally never swapped cash because I never really played DMM. So I've done my research and there's a couple of CCs on the screen right now that are supposed to be trusted because I for sure don't want you guys to get scammed. Make sure to hang around in the friends chats for a little bit so you can gauge whether or not it's legit or not. You'll see it in the chat for sure. Obviously the first moneymaker is going to be the stronghold of security. It takes five minutes to complete and you get 10k at the end. I've linked a discord in the description where you can go to the buying channel and there's people buying your first 10k in the first couple hours for a 1 to 1500 rate. That is 50 mil for five minutes of work. It sounds too good to be true because a lot of people will be doing that and the price will very quickly go down. But I mean, even if you get like three mil for that, it's insane. If you get your two accounts set up, one in the main game world and one in dead man, then it is usually the buyer that will accept the trade first. Unless if you're joining one of these trusted friends chats, they will expect you to go first. I should also quickly say that muling is not allowed in DMM and is actually bannable, which means if you have two accounts, one that's making you money and then you trade all your money to that other account that's just chilling in a safe zone that's not allowed so make sure you always put your most valuable items in the safety deposit box because if you die in dmm you lose all your items that you currently have equipped and your 10 most valuable bank slots except for the ones in that safety box so make sure to use that back to the money makers next up green dragons blue dragons or red dragons now green dragons are probably the easiest and the quickest to kill because you get one hour of safe time every time you go up a combat bracket there's four combat brackets and each one gives you extra benefits extra quests to unlock extra xp multipliers and all that and every time you go up one you get one hour of safe zone time. So make sure to use that right. I go into green dragons, lava dragons, blue dragons, red dragons. You can sell the bones and dehydes and it's gonna be great. A good place to kill the blue dragons is probably the soul wars dungeon, but it's gonna be difficult to escape. If you're in combat, I believe there is a timer on DMM so you can't instantly teleport. So if you get caught in the soul wars dungeon, you're probably not gonna make it out alive. Could be good for early game though. Next up, Hunter, baby. Oh my God, chins are gonna be so expensive. People are gonna wanna get 99 range as soon as possible. And there's also these sigils in DMM. It's like relics on leagues that you can get from random monster drops. Last year, the meta was just chinning monkeys in the Monkey Madness 2 tunnels and they shit out sigils. These can also go for over 200K dead man, if not a mil, if it's a really good sigil that for example, gives you unlimited run. I'm just saying something random, which will then again swap to over 50 mil or something on old school runescape so farming these sigils could be a great way to make money they did however say that they might nerf the monkey madness 2 tunnels so don't quote me on that regardless chins are still going to be mad money because people are going to want 99 range in the same vein of hunter you can also go for implings puro puro also probably want to do that in the grace period the one hour when going to a new combat bracket but if you want to hunt ninja magpie or dragon implings those are going to be selling for a buttload especially at the start look at the drops on these implings they're the dream of an early game pk'er Black Dehyde, Rune, Glories on Dragon Implings, Dragon Weaponry on Dragon Implings. It's going to be a damn good moneymaker. And of course, Eclectic Implings for Medium Clues. If you're the first one to snipe Ranger Boots, Spike Manacles, or even Holy Sandals, you're going to be able to afford a couple bonds. All right, lastly, I've got a couple of PVM methods that could be really useful for you guys. First up, Barrows. Now, this is a pretty standard moneymaker, but it's going to be even better in this I wanted to say League, I mean DMM. Again, I believe a Sigil can drop from a Barrow's chest, and especially now with the new mini quest, you get 10 times XP multiplier on the 20,000 prayer XP you get from this mini quest. It'll skyrocket you from 43 all the way to 59 prayer, just to do one Barrow's run. In the same vein of the Barrow's runs, making Barrow's teleport tablets might actually be a really good money maker. There's also a new mechanic called Breaches. At three very specific times every day, 
Random bosses will spawn out of these breaches. They're basically like world bosses. Killing these will give you a chance at getting the new corrupted weapons, like a corrupted twisted bow or stuff like that, which are slightly worse than the original, but still incredible to get. This is also the only way to get the ancient warrior weapons and armor. So if you are high combat, especially early into DMM, and you can snipe one of these kills and get the first corrupted weapon or first status warhammer or whatever, you're gonna be making bank. Now as the last method, if you want to just casually grind, go for Slayer. If you get the first Whip, Black Mask or Dragon Boots, you might actually make so much money, especially if you get multiple, and you can grind them out unlimitedly. Slayer has always been a staple of DMM and always the best money maker if you can commit enough time to it, so if you got the weekend off or something like that, go for Slayer, you won't regret it. If you have any more money makers, make sure to leave them in the comments down below and let's help each other. I'm not a PKer, I assume most of you guys are probably not PKers, but we do all like making a bit of money together. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Well, I've got another idea, to be fair. I'm gonna be doing a clue scroll only DMM, so check out the main channel for that if you're not subscribed. I'm gonna try to get some PKs only using clue armor. That's probably gonna go terribly, but I'm gonna enjoy myself, and that's what counts. So happy money making, and thank you for watching. Subscribe.